Hello everyone. In today's video, I will review the best Lapier Overvolt GLP2 Elite Review, a fun and agile e-bike with race results to back it up. Lapier Overvolt GLP2 Elite Frame and Kit. The lithium-ion battery is located above the motor to prevent it from becoming too heavy. It's 20% less than the power packs found elsewhere, but at 2.6 kilograms, it's 900 grams lighter. The bike is a bit heavy. It weighs 2.7 kilograms more than the next lightest bike we tested, the Orbia Wild FSH10. It can't hold a bottle. A horse link suspension delivers 160 millimeters of travel. It's possible to increase the shock stroke to boost this to 165 millimeters, a setup that sees the Volt GLP equipment with a 29x2, 5 in front wheel, tire and a 27.5x2, 8 in outback. Shimano SRAM guide res with 220 divided by 200 millimeters rotors provide strong braking. The bar on the Bosch Purian display let the bike down. However, the RockShox suspension performed well, while the dropper post did bad. Lapierre, let's look at the bad news. We see that the Lapierre has a smaller battery than the other battery packs. On the upside, you can buy a smaller battery for about 550 pounds. Even with two batteries, the Lapierre Pont is comparable in weight and price to the Mondraker Crafty R29. The issue with the Overvolt GLP is that it can be hard to slow down. This happens when the bike needs to decelerate faster than the rider can brake. The problem with a high front tire is that it can easily lift the front wheel when the gradient is steep, so taller testers are required. A 500WH battery is small by modern standards. Running less sag 28% helped a bit, but the seat angle still felt way too slack for steep inclines, and it is common to experience pedal strikes. It limited my movements for when I was tackling steep drops, so I decided to change my bike. When I had a higher bar and lower seat, the overvolt kicked in, hopping and riding like normal mountain bikes. There's a centralized weight and shorter chainstays that allows you to ride more dynamically over big rocks and roots. Also, the long center of gravity allows you to take on challenging lines with confidence. One big advantage from the FC2 is that it has a brake with big rotors, and that provides a consistent lever feel. The brake pedal feels very responsive, and it is easy to stop quickly every time. A 500 WH battery is small by modern standards. The shortest travel post on the bike isn't good. It's too short for the bike. Our review. It's not easy to control with some technical parts, but it's a blast to ride in a hard group sprint. 